Okay, ladies and gentlemen, moving swiftly on. Our next contest of the evening is fought in the Fight UK Bantamweight division, under 135 pounds. And the first fighter to enter the octagon into the blue corner. Let's hear it for Josh Amotra. Okay, here I am with Josh Mottram. Uh, Josh trains out of Alliance BJJ in Derby. Currently has a mixed martial arts record of two fights, uh, sorry, three fights, two wins, one loss. Um, he fought on the last fight UK and uh, walked away, unfortunately, without uh, the uh, the points decision. Uh, Josh, how you doing today, mate? Good, thank you. Okay, obviously, yeah, you, you, you were runner-up in the last fight, but it was yep. a very, very close fought battle on a points decision. Yep. So I would, I would assume you're looking forward to getting back into the winning yeah, ways tonight. Yeah. Tell me what you've been doing doing just training hard got straight back on it so i've done like two back-to-back -back fight camps feel fit than ever ready to get in there really now excellent excellent well look you know that's the main thing you know preparing for the physical side is one thing but obviously preparing for the mental side is another you've got a bit of a smile on your face there a bit of a cheeky yeah. grin <laughs> looks like you're looking forward to getting in there tonight yeah you're very very keen yeah 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 it's a long day so we're ready to get in there when we when, it, when time comes so. do, you know, do you know much about the guy you're fighting no, I've seen one video, I think he's won on this show before, so he's not going to be no mug, so I'm in for a good fight, I'm sure. Excellent. All right, well, look, it seems like you're very, very keen to get in there, so all that's really left to say uh, is best of luck for tonight, and we look forward thank to seeing you, you in the cage. Cheers, thank you. And his opponent entering into the red corner. Let's hear it for Guillaume Aboy! Okay, here I am with Guillaume Boyd. Uh, Guillaume's fighting in fight number three tonight. Uh, trains out of Pariah in Birmingham and is currently undefeated at 2-0. How are you doing, Guillaume? You all right? All right, yeah, cool. Excellent. Obviously, you fought on the last fight UK, walked away victorious. You're now back to continue that winning streak. Mm -hmm. How's your training been going for this fight? All right, fine. Excellent. Do you know anything about your opponent? Have you made much preparation no, for him? Not, no, I prepare all the time, so... Excellent. Any particular game plan for this evening? Just don't get hit and hit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that sounds like a solid game plan to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gion, obviously, look, you're undefeated at the moment. Mm -hmm. You're looking to continue that streak, so what we'll do is we'll wish you the best of luck, mm -hmm. and we'll look forward to seeing right, you showcasing you. your skills well, in the up. cage tonight. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He hails from Blackwell. He's 18 years old, stands five feet six inches tall, and weighed in at 135 pounds. He fights for Alliance BJJ Derby and has a mixed martial arts record of three contests, two wins and one loss. Let's hear it for Josh Amatrum. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He hails from Birmingham. He's 39 years old. Stands five feet eight inches tall and weighed in at 135 pounds. He fights for Pariah and has a perfect mixed martial arts record of two contests with two wins. Let's hear it for Gion Aboyd. Your referee in charge is Mr. Mark Woodard and this contest is fought over three three minute rounds. Okay, so bantamweight action now. Guillaume Boyd, Boyd fighting out of Pariah in the red corner. Josh Mottram fighting out of Alliance in the blue corner. Mottram with the black and red shorts. Boyd with the green and orange shorts. Amateur rules, scheduled three three-minute rounds. Nice leg kick starting things off from Mottram. Boyd answers back. Seen Boyd fight before and fight UK. Very explosive. And he's showing that with those kicks, whipping him in. I like the fact that he's throwing the knee up there, giving his opponent something to think about. It's one of the things we see when we talk about striking on a higher level, the, the, the use of feints. Those body kicks are thumping in. Big strikes for the bantamweights. Mottram goes straight for the back. Creates space, gets one hook in. He's going to sit back and try and get that second hook in. Some cage grabbing there from Boyd. Mark Woodard not very happy with that. Gives him a second warning. Boyd two on one. Looking to turn into his man. He's doing the right thing. Mottram needs that second hook in. He's at risk from being dropped. However, two deep hooks is a very controlling position. Right forearm going underneath. This will be a nice scout for Mottram. 
if he can get Boyd early on in the first round. Boyd coming in here 2 0. Oh. Mottram's only mistake was at the last fight UK show. He stands at 2 1 0. Oh. Still got these hooks. And Boyd has the option to drop him, but it's a last ditched option. It's on, it's deep. That looks very tight. A little under the chin, but he's adjusting the hand position. He's going palm to palm now. Boyd is turning in, but that's only making it a bit worse as you get in the bony part of Mottram's arm, driving in. But excellent defence here from Boyd. Still trying to work the legs. Locked in that choke, and look at Boyd fighting it, turning in as he, and going two on one. Find the hands. What heart shown by this man. That is absolute heart. I thought I, many men would have tapped a good few seconds ago. Now Boyd's chin is on the forearm so he can breathe again. He's controlling Mottram's left arm. I, I know exactly how he feels. It's a horrible place to, to be in, but you just got to bide your time. There's nothing you can do. Bide your time, let him burn out, and then try and get that extra little bit of oxygen in. And then burst out for your escape. As they turn away from us, I can't quite see. Is he still overhooking Mottram's left arm? Look to the screen. Can't quite see from here. Still got both hooks in and he's fighting now. But what I like is that Boyd's freed the hands up a little bit. Body lock. Uh-oh. Switching not straight, good. Switching straight to the body triangle. And obviously not just for position. This a real constricting, constricting move. It is. It is absolutely awful. And here we go. Mottram driving down. We can see Boyd's ankles come up, but he's postured up. Somehow managed to posture up. And again, we turn over on our backs. Ten seconds left. Guillaume Boyd is going to look to just ride this one out and make amends in round two. And he turns around and finishes. Looks to land. And that's the end. There we go. That was uh, an extra few seconds of the round there. But we go there. Boyd looks furious. Not best pleased with spending most of that round in rear choke. Mottram looks quite pleased with himself, and rightly so. That was absolute dominance there for that first round. Here at Fight UK in the bantamweight division. I'm at a rule, so three three-minute rounds. So Boyd is going to want to make amends of this. Now we've seen Mottram's no slouch striking. He caught Boyd early on with a kick in round one. Oh, that's a big shot. Wild Boyd. shots. Boyd landed some big strikes. This is where he needs it. Oh, nice knee to the body. Boyd turning it on. That is red mist. He is angry. He is furious that he's just Go. wasted around. Go over the single, but jumps on the guillotine as Mottram's got to be very careful. That looks very, very tight. Yeah, it is. It's deep, and he's got his hips. Mottram has controlled Boyd's hips. He's got the guillotine on. We can see that from here now as they turn. The, the forearm is under. And just as I say it, commentator's curse. Boyd pulls the arm off. His defence is just relentless. It's very impressive. A huge elevator out of there and a nice uppercut. Good takedown defence here from Mottram as he overhooks the back and underhooks the arm to try and peel off Boyd. Mottram once again jumping in that back position. Yeah, it worked in round one, so he's going to go for it in round two. This is on. That is that is deep. That is deep as Boyd goes for the uh, lever arm, goes to attack the lever arm, needs to roll onto the side, and he does. He does. Has he secured the arm? Turn to the screen. I can't quite see. Mottram still working this rear choke. One of my favourite submissions, this one, Ben. Relentless in his pursuit of this is Mottram. Boyd throwing a few shots, so obviously not that worried about the threat of the choke coming in if he's not fine the hands, and rolls through. Nice knee to the body. And here's Boyd going to try and reverse the takedown. He's got his head stuck under Mottram's armpit again. And there, look, Mottram just keeping that forearm right by Boyd's throat. Mottram here, did a really good job there of reversing that. It looked like he was going to get tanked for a ride of the single, but he got his leg out. And now he's rolling through. Got to be careful, though. He's essentially rolled Boyd on top of him. Interesting. He lost. He, he gave up a butterfly there. Sorry, Ben, just butting in rudely. He gave that butterfly up, went for full guard, and Boyd is now just going to sit in guard and strike for the minute whilst he figures out what he wants to do. Double overhooks there from Mottram. Mottram pushing on the hips. I like this active guard work, sitting up, looking to sweep, looking to isolate the head. There we go. Maybe that's why he wasn't too keen on Butterfly. 
Seems quite happy to sit and try and work the submissions from guard position. Very comfortable in guard position, Mottram. As you see with these bigger gloves, obviously those guillotines harder to find from the guard spot. So it's not just the hands that you find, it's these bigger gloves that have got to go through. Attacking the legs now. There's Mottram, but it's Boyd with some good posture, looking to finish strong as he did in the round before. And there we go, round two. Mark Water just having a quick word with Guillaume Boyd at the end of that round. Very close second round, that back control once again for Matram, but I, I like the fact that Boyd didn't hang around there. And he also had those periods of striking dominance up against the cage as well. Very back and forth round that. Nice body kick straight in. In my opinion, Boyd can't afford to be tied up in Mottram's guard or with him riding his back again. He's got to get in and get the job done. Nice start switch in there, using the left hand as a left cross. As he goes. Nice kick to the body from Boyd. And back into South 4 again. Good kicks from Hernandez, and now he's going to be straight on top. There's that kick we saw in round one. Works again, now Boyd locking the guard down. So first time we've seen this, let's see, uh, let's see what happens, see if Boyd is a bit more active with his guard, and he is, look, he's going high. He's going very high. Went to pull rubber guard at the top there, but let the legs go back down, and at this point, as we say, close, close fight. Boyd really needs to make something happen from here. He's got to go either one way or the other. He's got to tie him up and look for a stand-up, or he's got to start kicking off or working for subs. You're absolutely right. He has. Uh, what's shocking is he seems very, very confident in guard, um, working the rubber guard. You know, working high guard, quite confident, opening his guard, closing his guard, switching his hips. Um, not what I expected from someone that we've just seen. You know, relentlessly striking, standing up. It's very well versed, um, Guillaume Boyd. Would have been nice to have seen this a bit earlier in round one and two, as he goes up high again. He's trying for this body lock from guard. And there it is again. Can't quite get it on. He's just going to go back to standard lockdown guard. Has he caught Mottram's arm? Can't quite see from here. I think Looked he like has. he was looking to switch on the hips a little bit. Got that right arm, the left arm, excuse me, pin. Matt Woodard stands to fight himself. Good call That's that. It. I think he'd, he'd given him a few warnings. Very good, yeah. Yeah, it was becoming a bit static. No real progression. So. Straight in with that body kick again. Mottram scored the takedown. Could that be pivotal? for this round. Matram's done a good job, really. He got stood up in that last exchange, but realistically, he did spend quite a bit of time there, landed a few shots, was controlling where the fight took place, and, and he was the one who took the fight there. So, I mean, Matram will be happy with this. As much as sometimes it looks like he's not getting the most of the, of the exchanges, it's not just the fact that they're both striking in this position. You've got to look at the fact of who's in the dominant position and who put who in the dominant position. And it, it weighs heavily on the judges as we see exactly. past the half guard now. A few short chopping chops. Knee on chest there from Mottram. Still looking to try and dominate for the last few seconds. He's open half guard. He's not too bothered about stepping out of it. Just posturing up, striking to the finish. Finishes with a flurry, does Matram. Another decision, another very close fight. Interesting to see what the judges make of this one. I think the Matram is, is fairly sure, so are his fans, that he's got it. A great fight, and we'll take it over to the judges to render the official decision. OK, ladies and gentlemen, after three hard-fought rounds of action, we go to our judges' scorecards. Our judges have rendered a split decision. Judge number one scores the bout 29-28 to Boyd. Judge number two scores the bout 29-28 to Mottram. And judge number three scores the bout 30-28 in favour of your winner. From the blue corner, George Mottram. But let's hear it. A massive round of applause for a very gallant runner-up. Let's hear it for Gion Boyd.